All right. Hi, everybody. Um, so today I'll be talking about LRBs, also known as left-leaning red flag trees. Okay. So what are LRBs? Well, LRBs are trees that ensure that we maintain a balanced structure. Now recall from last week that we already discussed about a tree that maintains a balanced structure, the 2-3 tree. So why would we ever need an LRB over a 2-3 tree? Well, the answer to that is that it's actually easier to implement an LRB than it is to implement a 2-3 tree. So before I get into um, the uh, LRB, I do wanna talk about a couple of operations. Uh, the first operation I wanna talk about is the rotate left operation. So suppose we have a node N and we call rotate left on N. What that's gonna do is it's gonna take the right child of N, uh, let's call this right child X, and it's gonna make N the new left child of X. So let's look at this uh, pictorially. Suppose I have this tree and I call rotate left on F. What it's gonna do is we're gonna get the right child of F, which is H, and we're gonna make F the left child of H. But notice here that G is currently the left child of H. What's gonna to happen to G? Do we just throw it away? Well, notice that G is in this right subtree of F, and we when we rotate F, to the left, F is not gonna have a right child and we can just stick G as F's right child. And because like I said before, um, G is already in the subtree, in the right subtree of F, we know that G is going to be greater than F. So this is a safe operation. Okay, so this is what the tree looks like when we rotate left on F. The next operation I wanna talk about is ro the rotate right operation. So again, suppose we have a node N and we call rotate right on N. What that's gonna do is uh, it's gonna take the left child of N and let's call this left child X. And we're gonna make N be the new right child of X. So again, let's go back to this tree. Let's say I call rotate right, rotate right on F. What I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna get X left child, which is B. And we're gonna make F be the new right child of B. And again, B's current right child, which can, can, contains a subtree of B, e, C, and E, can be, now be the new left child of F. And that's, a, again, a safe operation because um, D, C, the nodes D, C, and E, this subtree here, is already to the left of F. Okay, so this is what um, it looks like when we uh, call it rotate right on F. And the final operation that I wanna talk about is the color flip operation. So supp again, suppose we have a node N. Uh, what the color flip operation does, it's going to take all the links that are, connect that are connected to N, and it's gonna flip the color of the links. So any black link um, that is attached to node N is now gonna be a red link. Any red link that's attached to N is now a black link. And again, uh, going back to this tree, Suppose I call color flip on B. Well, um, the links the, the links that contain, uh, that connect A and B, and D and D, are both red, so they're now going to be black. And the link that connect, that connects D and F um, is black, and uh, we're going to turn it into a red link now. Okay, so that's what we do. And now I want to move on and talk about LRB insertion. So when you insert to an LRB, uh, you first insert just like you would uh, for a BSD. So if an element is um, less than the root, we move and look in the left subtree. If an element is greater than the root, we'll go to the right subtree and uh, search there. Um, however, when you insert a node, we insert a node with a red link. And this insertion could either violate an LRB property, or it can be completely fine. If there is a violation, however, uh, we do need to fix it with one of the operations uh, that I mentioned earlier. So what are the three LRB violations? Well, the first violation is if we have a red leaning link. 
Um, because this is called a left-leaning red flag tree, we want all our red links to be leaning to the left. So consider we have a node n, and the edge to the right child of n is red, and the edge to the left child is black. Well, this is considered a right red leaning link, and that's our first violation. The second violation is if we have two consecutive red links. So consider we have a node n, the edge to the left child of n, and the edge connecting at n's left child to its left child are both red. In that case, uh, we have two consecutive red links, and that is also a violation. Violation number three happens when both children are red. So consider we have a node n, and the children of the node are both connected to the node with a red edge. OK, so those are three violations of an LRB. How do we fix them? Well, for the first violation, our fix is going to be uh, to rotate left on n. For the second violation, when we have two consecutive red links, our fix is to rotate right on n. And the third violation, um, when we have both children are red, is to color flip on n. And an important note um, is that it is possible that a rotation or a flip off operation will cause an additional violation that needs fixing. So just because I do a rotate right, a rotate left, or a color flip, uh, doesn't mean that the resulting tree is completely fine. Um, after doing those operation, this could, that could cause an additional violation. So be careful with that. Okay, so now knowing all of this, uh, let's take a look at question one of the worksheet. So question one asks us to draw out the left-leaning red black tree resulting from inserting the following. 35, 11, 49, 9, 7, 51, and 50. Okay, so what happens when I insert 35? Well, 35 is going to be the root of the tree. And because it's a root, there's no need for us to add any red links. We now, uh, we now insert 11. Because 11 is less than 35, uh, we will put it to the left of 35, and we add it with a red link. 49 is greater than 35, so we'll put it to the right of 35, and we'll also add with a red link. Now we should notice here that uh, this tree that we get um, has a violation. Notice that both children's for 35 have a red link attached to them. So what do we what, so what do we need to do? Uh, we need to call a color flip on 35. And when we call a color flip on 35, uh, we get this tree, and this tree just looks fine. So the next thing we do is we insert nine. Uh, we'll insert nine to the left of 11. This tree looks just fine. The next thing we do is we insert seven to the tree. And when this happens, notice that we have two consecutive left leaning red nodes. The first is um, the link connecting 11 and nine. And the second one is um, the, the link connecting nine and seven. So recall that what we need to do is we need to call rotate right on 11. But notice here, we've created a new violation when we rotate right on 11. Notice that the node that contains nine has both of its children having a red link. So we need to call a color flip operation on nine. And when we call a color flip, uh, we get this tree and this tree looks just fine. Okay. Next thing we do is we insert 51 to this tree. 51 is greater than 49, so we put it to the right of 49 with the red link. But notice this violates the uh, red leaning, uh, the red leaning property. Uh, so because of that, we need to rotate left on 49, and our tree looks just fine now. Okay, so last step is to insert 50. Well, we insert 50 to the right of 49, and again, with a red link. But notice, this causes a violation. We have a red, uh, we have a right-leaning node, uh, sorry, a right-leaning link that is red. And that happens, we need to call a rotate left operation, 
So we call rotate left on 49. And when that happens, uh, we cause a new violation where we have two consecutive red, sorry, two consecutive uh, left leaning red links. So in order to fix this, we uh, rotate right on 51. However, when we rotate right on 51, we cause another violation. Notice that the, uh, that the node 50 has both of its children having red links. So we need to call color flip on 50. When we call color flip on 50, uh, we've created another violation here. Notice that uh, the node 35 has both of its children as red links. So the final thing we're gonna do to fix this is to call color flip on 35. And at this point, we're done, right? This tree looks just fine. Okay, uh, so that's it for question one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and I'll see you guys very, very soon.